It's like they're trying to make it illegal to glance at a girl. I'm not gay! I'm not! Watch this guy try move to me at the gym. Checks absolutely nothing on his phone. Looks over at me being busy sorting my wrist straps. These f***ing straps taking up too much time. Makes a swift return. Sad lip. Honestly, this looks like it's his first time in the gym. He doesn't know the name of the equipment. He just looks like he needs help. He looks lost. And her first instinct was to record him on video and shame him instead of actually helping him. So now he's gonna see himself on TikTok with a random girl making him out to be a creep and he will never go back to the gym again. He might die from obesity because of you. Watch this guy get angry when I do a handstand. Oh, he looks very angry. He looks very, very, he looks mad. He is super angry. She did all that to get 287 likes. Well, here is one solution to the creepy gym guys problem. Here at Alana Life and Fitness in Brooklyn, New York, the rule is women only. That's sexist. I feel very offended right now. Cancel them. I've been in a gym, uh, you know, I was actually there with my boyfriend, and I've had a man approach me and ask me out and, you know, try to flirt with me, and, and that, it just wasn't comfortable. Women a guy approached you and tried to talk to you and asked you on a date. Oh! 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 It's the end of the world! Oh my God, bro, this is crazy. She's portraying herself to be a victim because a guy asked her on a date in the gym. But to be fair, guys, if you're gonna approach a girl in the gym, you gotta make sure that your game is on point or else you're gonna end up on the news okay that's how far it can go <laughs> so with the way these videos are going it's like this is how you have to act when a girl comes around at the gym now immediately glasses you take a cane you don't see shit yeah i'm blind bitch <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you guys what I do when a girl walks by me while I'm working out. I think about my skincare routine. Shout out to Teach Hanley for providing a simple but effective routine for men. This is not the first time I've mentioned Teach Hanley and this will not be the last time, man. Highly recommend you guys use these things right here. But before you click off, wait, let me show you what's in this box real quick. All right, so this is me starting my morning routine with the cleanser. I use this in the morning and in the evening to wash off the dirt off my face. And then we use the AM moisturizer that comes with SPF. Help protect your skin from the ultraviolet rays of the sun and it also comes with the moisturizer for the evening which I usually use before I go to bed and then this right here is the exfoliating scrub which I recommend you use two times a week so this helps get rid of the dead skin cells to make your face look brand new all right so this is me showing the extra products that comes in the other levels so this is the eye serum that you can use for dark circles fine lines and wrinkles and this is the anti-shave powder that is good to use down there man so you don't be itching so this one right here is a natural deodorant and it actually smells pretty good guys here is the instruction card that will come with your skincare system to make sure you know how to use these products properly And I was in Miami last weekend. Some of you guys may have known some of you guys may have not But I could not stop getting compliments on my skin complexion man. Thanks to teach Hanley This is the year of self-improvement get on your purpose get to the gym get your skin right get your teeth right everything You know what I'm saying no excuses man. No excuses So click the link below to get 30% off your first order and a free surprise Prize gift and listen guys I would not recommend you a product if I thought it was bullshit y'all we keep it real on this channel okay I hate this I hate this I hate when there's sweet eyes it's me so uncomfortable feral 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 like feral this is the five ads five pounds and these are the grids Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got okay. it. Thank you, though. See what I mean? So now this video went really viral. She really did this guy dirty right here. But my guy Joey came to the rescue and humbled her real quick. Check it out. Perspective on this video. If you guys want to watch the full thing, you can go over to her page. 
First and foremost, as I've said before, there is a big difference between staring at somebody and simply looking or glancing at them. So why did this man look at you? Well, you're in front of him off to the side, you're in his peripheral. You're also taking a video with your camera pointed directly at him and you're talking to yourself. He's probably watching you wondering, what is she doing? I know I would. Also, you talk about, why would this man come over and help me load my plates? Well, if you watch the video, he sees that you struggle putting plates on the other side. Now, any experienced lifter out there knows when you have a barbell on the ground, if you're doing hip thrusts, if you're doing deadlifts, it's very difficult to put plates on. There's actually a jack they make for you to be able to lift up the barbell so you can put the plates on. He sees that you struggled being an experienced lifter and he comes over to try and help you because that's what kind people do. Any experienced lifter out there knows what I'm talking about. And I saw the comment where you guys talk about this was a man trying to help out a woman because a man would never help a man. That's not true. This is not misogynist. I've been in the gym for 20 years. I can't tell you how many times I've helped men and women load plates, take plates off put weights back. It has nothing to do with sex or gender. You help people because it's kind to do. His video went super viral and she saw it and came out with an apology video. Apologizing first. I think, yeah, maybe not posting somebody online is a smart idea. Um. Well, no f***ing shit. It's not a smart idea when you're making him out to be a creep for no reason. All right, now, so this next video is a result of the previous videos, man. You can't commit this amount of atrocities and not expect any consequences. So we have this girl in the gym doing squats. She fails to get up on a second squat. Oh, oh shit, uh, oh my knees! But to be fair, she was being quiet, the music was a little bit loud, the guys probably couldn't hear her, or they probably saw the camera and was like, I'm, I ain't going over there, I don't want to be exposed. But listen guys, if you do see someone that needs help and they are asking for help and you can hear that they are asking for help, help them man, do not be an asshole. After this, I just saw that she was staring at me the whole time I was doing my set and it made me feel extremely uncomfortable. And I just don't know why anybody would do anything like this. So I reported it to management and they took her out back and shot her in the back of the head. So that's good. So yeah, I've just been seeing a bunch of these videos on TikTok. Ever since those wave of gym videos came out, it's funny as hell. I hate that I have to make this video, but I've been constantly being harassed. There's a lot of dudes like me that have been just trying to be, get yoked. And you're just constantly being harassed. It's pretty much a guarantee. She's going to stare over and there it is. Can you not film me while you're doing whatever it is Sorry, um, that is? I don't even know if she would see what I was doing if everyone, she wasn't everyone constantly sees looking over in my direction. That is hilarious, man, and this is what you call balance. There's a reaction for every action. This is why I love my gym. Check this out. So they have a new policy, it's like the Joey Swall policy, that if you are caught recording someone else without their consent, especially if it's to like exploit them, embarrass them, or shame them, then your membership is gone. It's so absurd to me that people are still recording other people staring at them. Not thinking about the fact that exploiting them on social media to pit them out as like a creep or a weirdo, thinking that could be someone's father. And I honestly think that that's such a great idea because it's like people are going to freaking stare. Get over yourself. If it's that crazy, go to another gym, move the spot, tell them what's up, but you don't need to post them. Like, And I think this is actually a pretty fair rule. Like, why the fuck should you record someone and paint them out to be a creep on TikTok so everyone can shame them? That is, that is not a good thing to do. It is some bullshit. Just like this video right here. Okay, let me see if I'm gonna show you a picture of this guy and I want you to rate this body from 1 to 10. Okay. A 4. Why? It's not my type. Yeah. you rate it? Like a 5. I'm gonna show you the face okay. of this guy okay. and let me see if anything changed. Zero. <laughs> He's attractive but not my type. So you don't know who that is? No. Andrew Tang. Yo, these girls are bullshitting for the camera. A 4. The Rock. A 4. 
Red in the Rock's body of four is just incredible to me. But yeah, guys, with all these gym videos that's been coming out, it's actually taken away from girls that are actually out here getting harassed. Working out at the gym when she gets some unwanted attention from a very persistent guy. When he comes too close, she's had enough. Don't come near me. Chelsea Gleason posted the video on social media and now she's being praised for her no-nonsense reaction. Great job, girl, goes one comment. Don't come near me. I just look over and he's right in my face. 20-year-old Chelsea tells me the guy had been annoying her for weeks. Were you scared in that moment? I was. Yeah. So yeah, guys, in this video, it might have looked like he just came up to her in that one instance, but he's been doing this for a while. You know what I'm saying? He's been harassing her for days. So that's actual harassment right there. So all these girls that are making these videos to shame the men at the gym are actually doing girls like her a disservice. All right, guys, and I have to end this video on a positive note. Here is a video of a really feminine girl, man. And this is what a feminine girl can do to your energy. Like, check it out. Red flag, what about you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Jillian. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Canada. Uh, the highest level of education completed was high school. I decided not to go to college. And I'm, I said I'm single, right? Another problem. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Just say, all right. Just one more time. And then, uh, and then, what do you do for work? I'm a writer. Okay. Yeah, oh, this is serious. Yeah, yeah, so doesn't want to tell us what she writes. Yeah. It's not for Vice, though, right? No. Okay. No, I okay. saw that in the comments. Yeah, fuck no. Vice. Okay. Uh, what about you? So you can just feel how soothing her energy is, man, and her smile. It's like the type of energy she's giving off makes you want to cherish her and protect her at all costs. And her energy even makes the guys in the room just like be calm and address her in a calm manner. You know what I'm saying? If you guys notice that. So this is what a feminine energy can do. If a woman is truly in her feminine energy, she will be your peace, guys. She will be your peace because that's what the feminine energy is. It's love, nurture, peace. But yeah, a woman in her feminine energy is a very beautiful thing to see, guys. And I hope y'all see it in your lifetime, all right? <laughs>